Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be discussing Taylor Swift's first night in Madrid. She played on a Wednesday night, which is definitely unusual for the Ares tour, but she's back on tour after a little bit of a break. We're gonna go into the special songs, the guests that were in attendance, all that stuff. We're also gonna talk a little bit more about maybe why Travis Kelsey has not been in Europe the past week or so with Taylor, or at least that we've seen. And we're also gonna discuss that Kylie Kelsey video that has gone kind of viral, at least on my side of the internet. And uh, I just feel like we need to talk about it. Okay, let's jump in and start off with Taylor Swift, Madrid, night one. As I mentioned before, Taylor, over the course of this tour, typically doesn't play during the middle of the week. Even when she was in the States on tour, but pretty much everywhere else she's been, she's mostly performed like Thursday to Monday. Like those are like the dates or the days that she tends to perform. And then she typically takes the chunk of the week off uh, to rest, to recuperate, and then goes back on tour over the weekends, which makes sense, right? Because people tend to be able to travel on weekends. They have those days off. So it just makes sense in terms of like putting a tour together and the fact that she plays these massive stadiums, she can arrange her schedule to really allow her a good chunk of time off during the week. But for whatever reason, and I think most of it has to do with the fact that she played Portugal only two nights, Friday and Saturday night. So then she had Sunday off and Monday and Tuesday off. So now she's in Madrid. She was in Madrid last night. She's going to be in Madrid tonight. And then she actually ends up having Friday and Saturday off, which I feel like she hasn't had like Friday, Saturday off on tour ever. Um, And then she's going to France and playing, I believe, Monday or Sunday and Monday, something like that. It's just, it's a little bit unusual. I feel like we're typically, again, used to kind of recapping the tour after the weekend, but now we get to talk about it during the middle of the week, which is also very fun. Um, But as we talked about, I think last week and then previously, Ryan Reynolds had mentioned that he and his family were going to be in Madrid for the Eras tour. And that was the case, though I actually didn't see Ryan Reynolds there. If anyone saw him, let me know in the comments, but from all the videos and stuff that I saw, I didn't actually see any footage of Ryan. I saw footage of Blake Lively and their three daughters, but nothing of Ryan. So maybe he was just like home with their fourth child or maybe he was somewhere else. I don't know, but I was like, huh, where's Ryan? Um, But Blake Lively, obviously super good friends of Taylor Swift, has been to a few concerts previously, has taken her daughters. Obviously her three daughters, James, Inez, and Betty are mentioned. I mean, Betty is the title of one of Taylor Swift's songs on the album Folklore, but all three girls are name checked on folklore, which is really, really cool. I mean, can you imagine being like seven, eight, nine, and knowing that like you are discussed, your your name is in a Taylor Swift song? Imagine being Betty. <laughs> I don't know how, I think she's maybe like four, but like imagine being that age and knowing that Taylor Swift named a song after you. That is pretty freaking cool. But anyway, those three girls were all there and there was a, such a cute video of Blake Lively filming her daughters while Taylor was performing Betty on stage, which was so cute. And I'm sure she has a lot of that footage because again, they've been to a handful of concerts. Um, but I, I just, I think that would be such a cool experience. And Taylor did kind of shout out Betty James and, and Inez prior to playing Betty, which also is so cool. Like, I just can't imagine my mom's, one of my mom's best friends being Taylor Swift. So incredible. Um, The Heim sisters were also in attendance. And I think a lot of people felt like, ooh, is she gonna play Nobody No Crime as one of the surprise songs? She didn't, we'll get into the surprise songs. Um, But fun to see them there as well. And obviously Taylor and the Heim sisters are super close friends. So this is like, Obviously, I, I love breaking down the show itself and the song she performs and all that, but um, it is also very fun to just see like who shows up on these tour stops because I feel like you just never know who's gonna be there on any given night. Um, but let's get into the special songs. Well, actually, before we get into the special songs, Taylor, I feel like this is now a theme and part of the reason why she does the mix m- mismatched um, 1989 
skirt top thing is because she can match the outfit to the flag of the country that she's performing in, which I think is fun. And she did it in Sweden and then she did it again in Spain. She had like a red, yellow, kind of a chief's moment, but I think she had it the reverse, um, which is very, very fun. And um, I, I just kind of like that. I like a tradition going forward. It's just kind of a fun, it's a fun way. I feel like there's sometimes artists who will like wear um, the football jersey of the city that they're in when they're on stage or something like that. But I think it's just like a fun little nod to the fans that are there. It just makes it feel a little bit more special, which I think is cool. But anyway, Okay, special songs. So the first she does is Sparks Fly, mixed with I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can. Now Sparks Fly, this was a tough one for me again because Sparks Fly is one of my all-time favorite Taylor Swift songs. I think it is maybe my favorite off of Speak Now, though I'm not exactly sure, but I really, really love Sparks Fly. In fact, I really wish she would have that as a part of the actual tour um, and the permanent set list. I, I wish Speak Now got a little bit more love on the Eras tour. It still makes me sad that it just gets one song because, and I know that album, some people love it, some people don't love it as much. I really think it is so incredibly good. So I wish she would do more, but love that the Spain Madrid crowd got that as the surprise song. So good. Then she does a, again, kind of a mashup of sorts of I Look in People's Windows, another Torture Poets Department song, and elements of Snow on the Beach. So I feel like she's I just, I, I I love that she's thrown like the rules that she had in place of, oh, I could only sing one song one time and then it's done forever. I understand why she did that because it does make it feel really special for every show when you know that you're the show that gets this song and then <clears throat> nobody else is gonna get it. But <clears throat> I like that she's just kind of like, I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna mash up songs. I'm gonna mix eras, love it. So very excited for, for those people who got those songs. Very curious to see what she ends up performing performing tonight um, in Madrid. I just, the special song part of things is just so fun for me. Um, okay, moving on to maybe why Travis hasn't been with Taylor the last week or so. Obviously we saw him last weekend. He was in Dallas with Patrick Mahomes. They went to a NBA game together. I think he's working, he's shooting. Um, but another reason is that the Chiefs are actually scheduled to be going to the White House this Friday to celebrate their Super Bowl victory, as I'm sure many people know, whenever a team wins a championship, they get invited to the White House and they get kind of honored by the president and the vice president. And I believe a good, I mean, it's a good reason for Travis to not be in Europe is because he's probably gonna be going to the White House this weekend. So again, Travis is a busy man. He's got a lot of things on his plate. He's juggling many different, you know, he's he's juggling his personal life, his professional life, probably just also wanting some rest and re and relaxation himself. So I can understand why he hasn't been like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But I don't think we need to stress or worry. I'm sure Travis will be back joining Taylor on tour very soon. And again, like I said, I think he's going to probably be doing a lot of the like UK stuff. That's my vision. But anyway, it'll be fun to see uh, what Travis gets up to at the White House. Because if you remember the last time they were at the White House, Travis tried to kind of steal the mic for a bit and Patrick had to kind of pull him aside. So you never know what kind of hijinks Travis is gonna get up to really anywhere he goes. Okay, the last thing I wanted to discuss is this Kylie Kelsey video that has kind of gone viral on the internet. If you haven't seen it, I will describe it to you, but I urge you just like search Kylie Kelsey on Twitter, social media, and I'm sure you'll see it, it will pop pop up. But the story is that Kylie and Jason Kelsey were on a little date night. I believe they have a like vacation home on the Jersey Shore or near the Jersey Shore. And they were on a date night this past weekend and a woman came up to them and asked for a photo. And Kylie, and again, this is what the story is. I wasn't there, I don't know this for sure. But Kylie, I think politely just says, sorry, no, we're not doing any photos right now. Um, we're on a date night. And this woman who asked them for the photo apparently loses her mind. There's a video of someone else who's filming this sort of interaction between Kylie and the woman who wanted a photo. And the woman who wanted a photo was like yelling at Kylie, like being extremely aggressive. But Kylie, who's not afraid, who doesn't back down, is giving it right back to the woman. 
<laughs> and it's telling her that she's embarrassing herself, that she can smell alcohol on her breath. The other woman <clears throat> told Kylie, like, you're never gonna be invited in this town again. You're never gonna, something to that effect. And first of all, like, the way that the entire internet is on Kylie Kelsey's side is incredible. Like, I don't see one person who feels like Kylie was in the wrong. Everyone is team Kylie as they should be, because what in the world is this woman doing? Like, first of all, there's nothing wrong with asking a celebrity or someone that some, you know, influential person for a photo. That's, that, that's okay. But they, they also have every right to say no. They have every right to say no. And you should be able to respect that right. It doesn't make a celebrity rude or inconsiderate or any of those things to politely say, sorry, no, I'm on a date night or I'm with my kids or whatever it is and not take a photo. And I feel like we as a culture feel like celebrities owe us everything. Like we watch you, we, we you know, if it's an actor, like we go see your movies or if it's, an, if it's an artist, we pay money to go see you perform, all these things. And they feel like these celebrities owe them something. Like they did, like, like it's their right to be able to bother them when they're just out and about doing whatever it is that, that that they do. And that's just not true. Like celebrities, it's okay for them to have boundaries and it's okay for them to say no. And people should respect that, especially Kylie and Jason who are just trying to have a nice evening to themselves. Like leave them alone, leave them alone. I did see that the mayor reached out to Kylie and Jason and, and said like he would um, pay for their date night and like kind of make it up to them because of the experience. But wow, it was just not a great look for the other woman. I don't think that she, I, I doubt that she um, thought it was going to end up this way, that everyone was going to be team Kylie, but everyone's team Kylie because Kylie just, she's, she's a real one. She's a real one. And you don't want to mess with Kylie Kelsey. I'll just say that much. All right, guys, that is it for today's show. As always, please comment, leave any thoughts, feelings, concerns, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.